Hello everybody, today I am here at the city of Pandel looking at this truck, Sierra Flatbeds. Um, the reason why I'm doing this video is because I want to start a new sequels videos. Then I'm going to go to your place and check your truck and see what's going on with your truck. If you have problems, probably I'm going to go check. The way you can contact me is by using the Instagram. You can go to Instagram and look for Francisco Amaya YouTube. And that's where you're gonna find out where I'm gonna go next because I'm gonna be posting on my story when I'm gonna go next and on YouTube you're gonna see the videos but today I am here in Pandora California that's right starting the new sequel of videos then it's gonna be on and on after this one one thing I'm gonna tell you is then if you message, you message me too much probably I won't visit you so just keep it cool because if I don't visit you the first time then you message me I want to visit you maybe the next one or the next one or the next one who knows because I have many people that want me to visit them so please just be patient that's all I ask you but I want to visit you especially if you are in the area of Southern California because it is where I am close but sometimes I go to Arizona sometimes I go to uh, Nevada and if I go to that area I want to let you know and the way you're gonna know is by my Instagram account. So just go follow me on Instagram where I have many content. It's mostly about cars, but as well I'm gonna post some stuff about trucks because it's easy for me to communicate with people there. So the reason why I'm here to start the video and to tell you why I'm here is because the owner of this truck say he has problems with the truck. He said that he's having problems with the check engine light and the amber light staying on and the region is not being uh, able to shut those lights off. What it's having is like a uh, low temperature on the DOC, DPF and all that. So today I'm going to find out what's the problem on this truck. Uh, for some reason the owner of the truck is not here yet. So um, I just want to wait a little until he comes. But then we're going to have a little conversation with him. Probably I want to ask, uh, I want to have him ask me some questions that he has. And that's the way we want to go. So let's get ready to check it out. Computer is ready. I don't know where he is still. So I don't have all day. So let's do it. Oh. <laughs> we, here? We've been here like for a while. We've been Are talking. you serious, dude? Yeah. yeah we didn't even know you're in there. Oh, why did you guys laugh? <laughs> What's going on? This guy's been here all the time. <laughs> Right, we are in the system and uh, as soon as I got in, I see this code over here. Um, the SER knows uh, conversion efficiency low, which means then uh, the emissions are low. That's pretty much all. But we have all these other codes over here, right? This is because of that one. And uh, in property quality is the same thing. Uh, DF, uh, I mean, DPF reaching too often, that means then the uh, a uh, computer is asking for region too much uh, this one is about signals about probably uh, one of the hardness is not working well uh, but this one over here see park region fell DOC temperature hour no reaching temperature that means then the uh, DOC or the um, um, fuel delivery which is the doser injector is not getting enough uh, temperature so what we're gonna do right now is get a uh, get a region going so let's start the engine warming up and then we're gonna get with the region and then i wanna get back to you all right uh <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> that okay so right there. yeah it's right. a looper there okay uh I have the driver right here with me. Finally, he was sleeping there, as you could see. So, hey. Hello. What's your name? Hello, my name is Ismael Sierra, and I'm with Sierra Flatbeds. Um, I reached out to Francisco because I contacted many mechanics, man, and nobody seemed to be able to find the problem with my truck. And being that he, you know, he's the truck guru right here in California, you know, <laughs> with praise and hoes, man. You know, I got a hold of this man, dude, and well, he, we got him out here today. Unfortunately, man, I was a little tired from last night. Got here. When I woke up, and I thought it was a dream, but they were at the door, man, you know? <laughs> yeah. We got it so, here. So, um, I was just asking Francisco right now um, how he got started in, uh, doing YouTube videos. 
Uh, you know, he was kind of explaining it a little bit to me right now, but um, yeah. Yeah, so he, yeah, he was asking me about that. As I say, I just started in like uh, 2017. That's when I started to do YouTube videos. At the beginning, I didn't want to start YouTube videos because I was just like thinking about, uh, you know, um, it is too much stuff, you know. And I was just thinking about myself and everything. But then, after a while, I started thinking, you know what, I just gonna do it because, I mean, like, somehow, I, I, I have that. I want to be a teacher myself. I want to be a teacher myself, you know, and, um, and somehow, this was the best way to do it, yeah. teaching other people. Oh, yeah, that, Any more questions? The question that, that, that I did have is uh, the editing, you know, like how do you manage your time with the editing, you know, sometimes I, you're slammed with work, you get a lot of comments, you know, about people asking you to come out and work on their truck, you know, and I know it's hard to try to help everything out, you know, how do you manage that sometimes to do the editing? I do that at night. At night? Yes. Wow. I, I work, I actually have my channel, IE Eurus, about yeah, cars. Yeah, uh, you have two YouTube channels. It's my another YouTube channel. I have Francisco Amaya YouTube channel. I have the... Instagram account where you yeah. contact me. Yeah. So that's where you can contact me as well. And um, I do all that and I do editing videos for Francisco Amaya YouTube and from IE Euros as well. And I answer to your comments. Yeah. I mean, I, sometimes I lag like four days to answer comments because I don't have the time. But um, I try to do it as fast as I can. I know some people get mad and everything, but hey, I mean, like, I, I, I try my best. Yeah, it is just like uh, sometimes I get in four days around like 120 comments, and uh, yeah, I and, 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 I, and, I, and I try to uh, answer them all. You know, I try to answer them all. For example, I, I answered all the comments yesterday night. Let's see how many I have right now. Oh, that's not too many. I have three only right now. I answered it yesterday night. I have three, which is okay. That's not bad. But sometimes I get like 20 in, in a row, 20, 40. So it's like. Yeah, but I try, and sometimes, you know, I don't get to answer all the questions, but I try my best. All right, um, I have one other question for you, you know, um, given that I was one of the fortunate ones, the fortunate ones, you know, that you answered the comments with, what, what kind of makes you say, you know what, man, I want to go ahead and, you know, go ahead and work on this guy's truck, you know, or what, what, what is it, sometimes is it like, how much they bug you sometimes, or yeah. do, do you see the desperation, it, it, or, it, or is there problems that you recognize and you say, hey, you know what, I know the fix to that. Because uh, you refer me to a few videos, man, and they were very helpful, you know, but I I, I don't know, I, I personally couldn't get it down, you The know? thing is like, uh, if, if you bug me too much, as I said at the beginning of the video, I mean, that makes me feel then I don't want to help you. Because, you know, you get too much and you don't get time to, you know, say something. And um, I try to help everybody because that's, that's the yeah. way I am. And uh, as I said, you know, like, uh, just be patient. If I don't help you the first time, I want to help you the next time. In your case, it was because that talk came to my mind with your case. Then I want to start this new sequel of videos about me going to your truck and, uh, and checking your truck for you. Yeah, yeah. Telling you what's wrong with the truck because this is the first video and that's the reason you were the lucky one, you know? Yeah, yeah. You were the lucky one. But the way to contact if, if you have anybody then wants me to call, they do the same just tell them to uh, follow me on, on Instagram and then contact me there definitely. but that doesn't mean then I will com come right away yeah, 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 I will just like make my time because I have so many so much stuff to do but I will try my best to do my time especially here in the area I'm fine sometimes I go to Arizona sometimes I go to Nevada sometimes I go to North California so I'm like, I, I can do some. I, I want to let people know where I am. So if they want to meet me there or want me to go there, I can go. Definitely, man. Well, I really thank you, you know, for coming out here, man, and helping me out. Yes. Know. Right now, it's about time to check the truck. So yeah. let, let's do it. So it was a, a little uh, quick uh, interview. He wants, I mean, everybody has questions for me, right? Yeah, 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 everybody yeah. has questions for me. Yeah. And, I like, and I like people to ask me questions, right? If I feel that the question you're asking me is like too much, I'll be like, pass. pass. <laughs> That's right, right. All right, uh, temperature is, uh, I mean, within range. So now we can start the region. Um, it's gonna do park region and start. And now 
we're just gonna wait until the filter start getting the fuel delivery from the uh, doser injector so we can see how the region is performing and how the SCR conversion is all right uh, the region is being on process right now and um, as soon as the um, the fuel delivery to the Astro Freeman device starts, we can see the performance of the DPF. In this case, I already noticed something. If you look closer over here, this temperature over here, this is the DOC outlet, which is the one that comes after the DOC. This temperature is lower than this temperature over here. See, this temperature is already at 900 and this one is still at 700. So I already know the problem. This drug is having problems with the SCR box, which means that the SCR box, the DOCs are pushed to the back and it's letting the temperature from the middle go all the way to the back. If we, look, if we go to the SCR conversion, which is this one over here, we can see the SCR conversion super high. See, 323. And the reason why it's 323 is because all the fuel from the uh, DOC is getting straight out to the SCR and the, DO, the DEF cannot produce that much emission. So, the problem that we have in here is that the DOC box is bad. Simple as that, pretty simple solution. And as the region goes, you can see the region temperature is still, is still going up. See right now, it is at 1,000. Still at 1,000. And this one is still at 700. And this one is at 1,000. This temperature over here is the one that comes after the DPF. The ones you remove to clean, this, are, this is the temperature after DPF. And this is the DOC, the one is in front of the DPF. So definitely the, D, uh, the SCR box is bad because the DOC is welded together to the SCR box and there is no way to fix this but just replacing the SCR box. Sadly, he won't be happy with this answer but this is the straight answer. He doesn't have to spend any more money in stuff than he doesn't need to spend. This is the way you gotta do it. If you are a mechanic, you have to do it this way because you gotta take care of your customers. So there is, it is pointless for me to continue doing the region because the region is never gonna end. And that is right why this, um, this uh, code over here, this code SCR co efficient, uh, conversion efficiency low and this other code over here, the uh, recent uh, target temperature is not reaching uh, the target temperature, they're never gonna go away because of that problem. Because of the DOC, the SCR box completely in this case. It is just the DOC, but in this case, you cannot just replace the DOC. I hear about places where you can remove the DOCs, and I mean, they remove the DOCs and fix it, but I don't know. Probably I wanna try to find out to give you information about that. So let's uh, finish with this. It's pointless for me to continue doing this. And I wanna give him the uh, the, uh, the heads up of the problem, you know, like I wanna like, this is the hard part, telling the people what's wrong. <laughs> Here is your problem. The problem that you're having is with the SCR box. The SCR box is bad. Yes. So to fix this problem, you either have to replace the SCR box with a used one or get a new one. I don't know, I hear about places where they can push the DOCs back. I don't know. I will try to find out and I wanna let you do, I wanna give you the information if I can. But this is the problem. The reason why it is, and there, maybe that's the reason why many technicians cannot find information, is because the temperature is not steady. The, to you, it just looks like numbers, right? Yeah. <laughs> you don't understand anything. But uh, the temperature has to be like lower, high, lower, lower. In this case, we have lower, lower, and high. This is supposed to be here, and this is supposed to be here. 
and that's the reason why that is bad. So the solution to the problem is that to fix the SEO. Well, fix the SEO. There is no other way. Yeah. They, you you don't have to replace, clean the DPF, not nothing. That is the problem completely. You can remove the DPF completely, and you wanna see then the DPF, the, the the DOCs are pushed all the way back, both of them. Yeah. Uh, if you can get someone to push them back where they go, that will be good. Or if you can buy a used SCR box, maybe for one, two thousand dollars on John Yard, and it will work, you know. All right, definitely. And that's the solution to your problem. And the, and the thing in the front of the cooling. The uh, that, that's the, that's just the orange. That is the uh, oil cooler orange. That's pretty easy. That's pretty simple. But this, I know this. This is what every technician has problems with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah this yeah. is uh, um, uh, emission yeah. problems. But up today, this is what's up. Can you all see one exit? All right. So there you have it. That's this the uh, problem, and you know already the solution, yeah, 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 I know the solution for the problem. You don't have to spend any more money to know the cause of the problem. That's straight up the uh, solution to the problem. And that's the way it has to be because, you know, spend, you spend more time trying to, I mean, more time, money, trying to know what's the problem yeah, yeah. than actually fixing the problem. I would have paid for the ACR box already, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, well, at least you got the answer that you yeah. were looking for. And uh, yeah, it was good to meet you, you know. Likewise, man, I, w I really want to thank you guys, man, both for taking your time, you know, today and driving out here and helping me out. Yeah. And helping me out with this problem. Like I said, you know, I've gone through various sick conditions, you know, and nobody I can know. pinpoint it, you know. Yeah. But if there's somebody who I know who can pinpoint it, it's you, man. And I, once again, you know, I thank you, man. Yeah, that's me, right? That's me. <laughs> the <truck> guru. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yes. So as I said at the beginning of the video, I want to, this is the first video about me doing this. So you were the lucky one. And um, I want to keep doing, so hopefully next time it's going to be you. Um, but just be patient, right? Make sure to follow me on IG because that's where you contact yeah, me. Contact on you. IG, Instagram, if you don't know where it is, Instagram. Um, that's where he contact me and that's where I want to do this. So just make sure to follow me there and, uh, and you have to follow me first. If you don't follow me, I won't respond at all okay just to be clear <laughs> i want followers there <laughs> but anyway uh yes uh and then i will try to make my time and then i want to come to you i want to let you know the time and how i want to get to you and you have to give me the information where to go just as he did but this is all i have for you guys up today and uh luckily we know the problem right yeah could have been worse yes so and uh all we have to do now it just continue fixing it and probably uh, uh, something else is going to break later <laughs> and you have to fix it. But anyway, uh, that's it. And that's, that's all. So stay tuned there. Uh, follow me on IG for all this that I'm doing right now. And you want to see more videos coming soon about this, what I'm doing right now. Like getting close to the community, to the truck community, because, you know, many people listen and help. And um, I'm trying to cover all that little by little. So thank you.